Okay, so today I'm going to be using buff to buckle up. Buckle up used to just brighten the aura of the person who was slugged on the ground so you could kind of get an idea when they were fully recovered. Now when you pick a teammate off the ground, both you and the teammate who got picked off the ground can see the killer's aura for 10 whole seconds. The person you pick off the ground also gets a 10% haste boost. Then we're going to forever is going to give a 100% which is a double speed boost on picking off people off the ground. And if you do some sort of altruism action in the past, you'll activate the endurance effect that you can just farm your teammate off the ground and know that they have a free hit to keep them safe. And for each person that's hurt on the team, Desperate Measures gives a 14% speed boost for unhooking and also healing which is also counting picking off off the ground. And then finally Dead Hard, which will let me even get into scenarios to do these super risky plays without feeling like I'm gonna get downed. And whenever I pick up a teammate, if the killer decides to go for me, I have that extra hit I can take for myself too. And yeah, that's really it. I think it'll be really interesting to see how this build resets really messy matches, especially Buckle Up being one of the weakest perks before, is now pretty solid. Also, if you didn't know, I stream on Twitch, so make sure to go follow that to see the streams in the future. And also subscribe to see the videos in the future and have notifications on because YouTube doesn't always recommend. And yeah, guys, that's really it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. Oh, wow. You just kind of run straight through. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you, Matt. Then we book it away. I got some distance, so I think I can go down here. Okay. I guess that, that, that's not too bad. Don't have to use my dead heart right away. Reset the bloodlust as well. Gave up on me? Oh, that's Tinker. Oh my goodness! Fucking hell! Holy shit! Only with Tinker is crazy. Oh, he thought I was going to panic vault into him. I see. He ran out of his power, didn't he? Three times he tried to get, get me to panic vault over. Instead, we just stood there. <laughs> we just stood there and waited. Got him. Vacuum that. So he runs through. I'm trying to get Deadheart back so I can use it twice in chase. It's kind of tough though. I'm definitely gonna have to use one more pallet to try to get that Deadheart back. Oh, unless my killer takes it, then it's different. Oh, he gave up out of frustration from the chase lane. GG's. Oh wow. Back. 
Looks like he's just bloodlusting. That should take away the bloodlust issue. Trumps his own cloak speed boost. Give up on me. Oh, didn't hear the block off of a bamboozle. I'm gonna keep hogging the vault so he can't take it away from me. Nice, got him to panic swing into the vault, thinking I was gonna vault back into it. But psychologically for him, there's nowhere else I could go, right? So, he's gonna panic and swing there. Greedy swing. Should be a pound here, there always is. Not this time, though. But this kind of terrible pound over here. And we run back. He cloaked, which is great. That means he loses bloodlust, so. It's not a concern at all. Vacuum that, so he runs into it. If I don't vacuum, then he respects and breaks the pound. But because I ran through it, he thought I was gone. And I just whew, right back. And right behind me, so I'm not gonna camp this pallet. Instead, we're gonna book it away, so he wastes his speed boost. And take this God Vault. Don't see him. Too dark on my screen. Big mistake. He went cloak. Which means no chase music. Which means that that preserves one of the vaults. Now I can vault it one extra time. Right now, funnily enough, the main risk is looking like I'm gonna bleed out from my mend, actually. Instead of him actually out looping. Which is kind of ironic. And that's more of a threat right now. Is that we're just running too long that we need a mend at some point. Let's hope they open up the door that's kind of parallel to sh the wall of Shaq. Just along the wall actually, I guess. Bloodlusting out of desperation. So we just gotta purposely break out of that. FLV tech, I guess, huh? There you go. That'll get me out of that situation. Bam! GG's! Let's go, let's go. Ah. 
What the hell? Inside the FOB tank. FOV attack again. Well, I'm giving them a lot of time to get the gens done. Any give up? GG's. Thought I was going for a window. I faked it. It's very short, so it's kind of hard to see. Dodged everything. I kind of want him to stay on me the whole time. Back to the pallet. And that's funny. I'm not gonna vault this time so we can conserve it and not block it off. That way. Now when I vault it. Or if I even need to. Don't even need to. Even better. Run through, never can't pallet because it's dangerous. Let them mind game themselves while you're chilling outside of the building waiting for them. And there you go. You couldn't find me. GG's. Okay. Interesting place. A fake drop. Uh, 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 uh. 
I'm looking for the dead on it. Looks like she's pretty frustrated or something. Yeah. Last. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Got it. Nice. We should be able to get away. GG's Interesting Gem beside library is just like right beside, right outside of it. Very progress. Looks like he might throw the whole match trying to defend this one gen at library, so they could probably just pop all the other gens, to be honest. By the looks of it. Bloodless reset. And we go again. One gen left. I think he's realizing he's overcommitting to me. Exactly what I want. He's trying to get bloodlust again. Line that and tap the gen again and to keep it the center of attention. Oh, he doesn't want me getting that vault, does he? Got it. There you go. They got the sleeve. It should be all out. <laughs>